is against the law. Well, it's been 14 years since Columbus has had its own professional hockey team, and tonight, the Chill, the city's new team, began its 1991-92 home schedule at the Fairgrounds Coliseum, that before a sold-out crowd. The Chill is in the East Coast Ho Hockey League, and they are currently 1-3 and three in that league. Tonight, they took on the Panthers of Erie, Pennsylvania. During the break between the first two periods, 20 lucky people were chosen for a chance at $5,000 by shooting frozen chickens at a goal with a big slingshot. While well, a chance at $5,000 may have attracted some to the contest, as Daryl Collins explains, most were there to see hockey. If opening night is any indication, Central Ohioans are starved for professional hockey. They sold about 6,000 tickets to tonight's game. They even sold the standing room only seats around the top of the arena. Not since 1977 had a game been played here. That's when the old Columbus Owls went up against the Dayton Gems. We're glad to have hockey back. We're old time hockey fans. That's same with me. We've been season ticket holders when we had the Owls, so this isn't anything new for us. Four minutes into the first period came the moment a lot of people have been waiting for. Not the first goal, but the first fight. What do you think of the fight? I don't think that's part of the game. I think the show has to stop taking stupid penalties and play hockey. So you think there's too much fighting? No, I didn't say that. I think hockey's good for the crowd, but I think we should see some hockey here, too. But there was no mistaking the Chills' first home goal being scored. How this kid could sleep, I have no idea. Hockey fans will have 31 more opportunities to cheer on the Chill this season. Tomorrow night, they take on Louisville at the Fairgrounds Coliseum, beginning at 8 o'clock. Daryl Collins, News 4, Columbus. A lot of enthusiasm there, a big crowd. Let's hope it continues. Stay with us. The uh, first round of the peace talks is over, and Timmy the Gorilla is headed for...